Sure, Kim, K-I-M, CAP, K-A-P-P. I'm the Public Affairs Manager for the Vancouver Police Department. So this evening at around 7.30 p.m., we received a call that there was a disturbance at the mall, a potential shots fired. Uh, we discovered that uh, witnesses were reporting that a, an individual uh, shot another individual in the food court area of the mall and fired several other rounds which struck two other individuals. When officers arrived, they located one person deceased in that food court area and two other individuals that were injured. Both of the individuals that were injured were transported to an area hospital for evaluation of their injuries. I don't have a condition report on either of them at this point. Uh, employees and patrons of the mall at the time uh, sheltered in place, which was actually uh, the most appropriate thing for them to do given the circumstances. Uh, police are currently and still clearing the mall. They are doing a very systematic clearing, so that will take uh, probably another hour or so. They're about halfway through. Uh, any individuals that are remaining inside the mall are checking out with police and are free to leave. If anyone was separated during the incident with people they were shopping with or someone that they were trying to pick up with, um, they should, re uh, the reunification area for those people who were separated or need to meet with loved ones is at the Hobby Lobby, outside of the Hobby Lobby area of the mall. We, uh, there is no active threat currently at the mall. Police are inside, again, clearing the um, area of um, anyone who is still inside. Detectives are reviewing all video that uh, is, was uh, taken inside the mall in an attempt to identify the suspect or suspects. Um, anyone that has information that saw something that could assist with this investigation should call our uh, tip line, which is 360-487-7399. Again, this is an active investigation, so we are still um, working on this. Detectives from the Vancouver Police Department Major Crimes Team are the lead investigators on this particular incident. Um, that's all the information I have at this time. I'll take a few questions, and I will do my best to answer uh, those. Again, some information I may not have at this time. We will also have a media release that will have information that I just shared with you uh, that will go out shortly after this. So is the suspect currently armed and dangerous? Is that kind of what we're telling the public right now? Suspect is currently outstanding. We don't know the motive for the shooting at this point, so we can assume that that individual is still armed, correct? And so he just shot random people? Um, it, it, one person was shot and is deceased. I don't know the, again, we don't know the motive behind the shooting and whether this was something that was random or it was targeted toward an individual or individuals. How quickly was VPD able to get on the scene and obviously, you know, check the situation out? You know, I don't have the timelines exactly of when the call came in. It came in just before 7.30, and I know that we were there very quickly. We have a very good working relationship with mall security, and they have a very robust team of people that are there to ensure the safety of the mall patrons at all times, and so we're in good communication with them as well. Were there a lot of families that were inside the mall tonight? We understand there was some kind of trick or treat. I don't know exactly how many people were inside the mall, but yes, it is Halloween night, and so there was an event that, I, as I, far as I understand, that was going on at the time, so I don't know how many people were actually inside the mall um, at the time of the incident. Were any children hurt? Uh, I'm, I don't believe that there were any children hurt. We only know of the two individuals that were injured and the one person that was deceased. We have not had any reports of any additional injuries. Do we know if there's uh, three people, uh, one adult, two, uh, two injured, were adults? I don't know the ages or any information about them, no. So what will the next hour or two kind of look like as detectives really get to work here now? So really, we're, a couple of things. So one is the um, uh, officers and the SWAT team is continuing to clear the mall, and it's obviously a large space with two different um, levels, so that does take some time. So we'll probably have officers there for at least another hour clearing the building and allowing people to freely leave. And then also um, we will be um, having folks uh, at the reunification area for people to be able to connect with, with, with each other in a, an area that they feel is safe. Um, on the other side, detectives are going to continue to monitor videos to be able to take information from witnesses, and those are still being collected as we speak. So as they start to learn more information, um, obviously our goal is to identify the suspect and take that person or persons into custody. What kinds of law enforcement agencies are here today? 
Uh, you know, I don't know exactly who uh, is here. I know that we have had um, partners from the Washington State Patrol that have arrived. Um, I don't know about the Clark County Sheriff's Office, but they, we work very closely with all of our regional partners uh, to be able to assist us. So uh, we're very grateful to have a, lo a, a lot of different law enforcement agencies here in our area to assist with things like this, because obviously this is very concerning. This is not considered to be an active shooter. It was a shooting at the mall, and there was no follow-up to that. We do not believe there is an ongoing threat at that mall. So that has uh, been reported that it's an active shooting, uh, and that is not the case. Some people are also saying that the suspect was in a costume. Do you know if that's true? I don't know that. I have not seen the video myself, so I don't know what the um, suspect description is. As soon as we have additional details or images that detectives want to release, we will certainly put that out. Again, we will um, have a media release that will follow up. Our initial information came out on our X channel, and that will um, those messages will um, discontinue, and we will have a media release that will go out that will also be posted on our website. Any future updates will come out in the form of a media release. And I, this might not be a question for you, Kim, but uh, at that mall, are there like metal detectors or other kinds of security besides personnel? That I don't know. I don't know what the mall is, is um, their security levels are um, for events or day-to-day uh, -day operations. For anyone who is at the mall, uh, is there a way that they can assist you guys in some investigation? Sure. So if anybody saw anything and they haven't yet talked to police, we would ask them to call our tip line and then um, they can talk to a detective. Detectives are going to be um, retrieving messages from that. They can leave an anonymous message if they're comfortable doing that. If not, we would like to reach out to them. If anyone has video, they should contact the tip line and let the detectives know what video they have uh, that may be supplemental to any video that the mall also has. That's basically all I have at this point. Again, I will send out a media release with any updates on this investigation, and I appreciate your time to get this information out to the public. Thank you so All right. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sure. It's Thanks, three, Michael. yeah, 360. All right, you've been listening to a live news conference from Vancouver Police on a shooting this Halloween night at the Vancouver Mall that happened around 730. One person is dead. Two people are injured in a shooting there. Uh, police saying there is no active or ongoing threat. The mall is being cleared by police. The suspect assumed armed and still out there. Uh, witnesses telling police one person apparently shot another in a second floor in the second floor food court of the mall and two other people were hit and injured. Those people have been taken to the hospital. No word on their condition. Uh, Kim Cap spokesperson with police asked if she believed any children were hurt, she said no, but she does not have the ages of the victims there. A notable because the mall might have been busy this evening. It's pouring rain outside. The weather is terrible. A lot of families seeking inside and the mall was holding a trick or treating event mall wide with kids and families able to go store to store to pick up candy at the time. The shooting again around 730 uh, shelter in place there is over. Police say they're clearing the mall store by store, place by place systematically. If anybody is still inside, they can leave by any exit they want. The reunification site, she pointed this out, uh, on the southeast side outside the Hobby Lobby in the parking lot. You can imagine if families were separated because of gunfire around 730 on Halloween night, how terrifying that might have been for small kids there. Again, one person dead. Two injured, no word on their condition, and a suspect assumed still out there. Anyone with information here can call Vancouver Police. The tip line number here, 360-487-7399. Stay with KGW for updates as we get them right here and at KGW.com. We'll have complete coverage coming up tonight on KGW News at 11.